Well, good morning everybody and welcome to all my friends. I'm here to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. To all my friends far and wide, all over the world, Russia, Brazil, oh, I could go on forever. And I've met some wonderful friends on Facebook. And none better uh, than the friends I've met in the Hedgehog fraternity. As a Hedgehog carer, I would like to thank all dedicated uh, Hedgehog carers throughout the, the land. They do a wonderful job. It, they dedicate all the time. I know they dedicate all the time because that's the situation I am in here. All our time goes on the hogs. We've got to keep hogs uh, well and looked after and back into the wild for future generations. And there's hundreds and hundreds of carers up and down the country just doing the same as we are doing. It's a, it's a labour of love. And I said, it's ded they've dedicated their lives to it. It costs them dearly in emotional, financial. In fact, I do ask uh, people uh, to support and donate to your local hedgehog carer. You've got one near you. And we've had a hell of a year this year, a very busy year. I've never seen as many hedgehogs in my life as that's come through our hospital this year. Uh, so in my book, there's no shortage of hedgehogs and <laughs> I'm not really looking forward to next year uh, to see what happens. This, we've got this mild when, uh, weather was at the, at the moment uh, the, and I keep seeing that carers are... Uh, uh, being brought hedgehogs on a daily basis, e even in December. Uh, we've quietened off here. Uh, we've had some strange ones come in. We've got one now uh, I'm very angry about. It's a little, little girl, uh, Ethel. Uh, and somebody's tried to make a pet of it. Uh, I'll show you it later. Now Ethel was set to be found out in a field. Uh, so if you read the story, being dumped in a field by some callous person who's brought this hedgehog up from being very young and it, all he does is he wants to play. Now I'm getting it back into a different way of thinking now because uh, it's got to go back into the wild in springtime. It's a bit underweight. Um, now I've had a lot of volunteers to uh, uh, to foster hogs, um, but with one thing and another, a lot of the hogs we're adding in care, they've all come to wait, uh, ready for hibernation. So I've been very remiss. I haven't got back to the people who's promised to help, but I do hope they are still out there. Because I would like to uh, uh, to form a sort of group uh, to support us. And so get in touch with me and, 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 and I've been very busy and I can't get back to everybody and I can't answer all the, uh, the, the emails etc. But I would like to thank uh, all the support we've had from far and wide uh, and donations from different people. Keep them coming in. We rely on donations uh, uh, from people uh, to keep us going. <coughs> so, thank you very much, one and all, uh, for all your support. Don't stop your support because we need it.
Well, today being Christmas Day, Anita and I hope to have a nice, quiet day. A nice Christmas dinner together without uh, the hustle and bustle that we've all had over the last few days. It makes me wonder whether it's all worthwhile. And when you're all tucking into your turkey today, how long is it going to go on for that turkey? Because turkey is... They seem to be a go going well April <laughs> uh, before they die. Anyway, I do hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and I wish you a happy new year. So bye for now and take care.